It is so awesome to have you on the show, just because, you know, we're big fans. You've been on the show uh, a bunch of times. But today is actually, your record is out. It's out. The, 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 the odds. Thank you. The odds of us seeing I'm so happy to witness this. I am honored to see you the day of. It's yeah. Like, it's a good luck charm, it's maybe. Final, yes, it is. Yeah. It's, it's finally out. Let's look at it right here. Humble Quest. That's her. Uh, <laughs> All right, I want to talk about the title. I want to talk about the, uh, the, the photo. What's the photo? How'd you decide on this cover? Um, it was, well, it was the last setup of the day, and it was in this, like, high school basement gym. And so I was like, yeah, I guess we'll do it if it's here. <laughs> but I, it, was, it was heated, but... So there's just a pool in a high school, and you jumped in? Yeah, I mean, they let me in. But, no, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you didn't break in. Yeah, you didn't break <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, no. Play. But um, it actually just ended up being one of my favorites because it wasn't, like, overdone, and my hair is wet, and it felt kind of, like, yeah. baptismal in a way. Um, yeah. So it fit the vibe of the music, so. Yeah. And, and, and Humble Quest, uh, which is the, uh, the name of the album, what, what, what does that mean, Humble Quest? Um, well, I feel like the last two years were probably humbling for all humans, <laughs> just yeah. not having jobs or just not having a purpose. And I had my son at the very beginning of the pandemic. So that was, th that cut me down a little bit too. Uh, yeah. I had kind of a rough like delivery. And so yeah, having my son and then having touring canceled for two years was just like, I'm celebrating my baby, but I can't like, share him with anybody because we're quarantining and then I couldn't tour so it was just like a really grounding experience learning that like like I love what I do I've been doing music since I was 10 but I put so much of my worth in it and I think the last two years taught me that like I can love what I do but I don't have to do it to feel loved yeah if that makes sense yeah good for you. <laughs> you you got through it you got through it and you have a beautiful baby Yes. Uh, beautiful baby boy, and I actually love on one of the tracks. I think it's uh, Hummingbird, maybe. Yeah. You have he, he's on. He's, he says Mama. Yeah. At the beginning, it's very cute. It's awesome. Okay. Um, I actually wrote Hummingbird the day I found out I was having my son back in 2019, and then the pandemic hit. I had him, and then by the time I was recording this record, I my son was starting to talk, and so I got a little iPhone voice recording of him saying mama, and so Greg Kirsten, my producer, put it at the top of that song. So he got, it's actually the only feature on the record is my son. <laughs> Featuring, yeah. yeah. He got a feature credit, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Grammys are next weekend. You're nominated for two awards. Congratulations on that. Yeah. You know. uh, uh, you meet a lot of people. You've done collaborations with everyone cool. I mean, gosh, you're just uh, amazing already, your career, and you're still so young. But uh, Dolly, uh, just to say, I'm mean, just to start there, Taylor. But uh, I was like, is there anyone that you really, like, blows your mind and you, get, you freak out and you fangirl out? Um, I feel like twice in my life I've been starstruck by somebody. And, yes. like, one, well, actually three. One was Dolly. The other was Elton John, like, meeting him. And then, um... <clears throat> I was, <laughs> and uh, Jimothy Fallon. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, that sorry. was yes, that was yeah, a, yeah. a starstruck. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, the okay. four people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you. no, okay. The fourth would be. Uh, I was at this Beatles documentary party at Henson Studios in LA a couple of months ago, and I was leaving early because that's like my move. And um, <laughs> I saw Amy Poehler doing the exact same thing, and I had a couple margaritas in me, but I <laughs> I never do this, but I was like, I will regret if I don't go up to her and just say like how much she means to me. And especially like just growing up watching SNL with you guys on it and oh, I, just how much she means to me as a woman who is funny. And I go over to her and she's so sweet. Like, I'm sure you know, because you know her. But I was just like bawling and I was like, I know you don't know who I am, but I'm such a huge fan of yours and thank you, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, I know who you are. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're Marin Morris. I mean, you're and, pretty famous. Here's a picture of you guys together. Yeah. Come on. I look like I need to be sedated. <laughs> Amy is the best. Yeah, she is. She's a but good one. Someone sedate this girl that is bothering Amy Poehler. <laughs> no. um, yeah, I have tears in my eyes in yeah, the photo. Good. Yeah. Uh, uh, Humble Quest, congrats. It's record day. I'm so happy it's out. Everyone download it, whatever you got to do, buy this album. Uh, and you're actually going on tour this summer. Yeah. It's all happening, bud. Yeah. I'm playing, um, thank you. <laughs> 
I'm uh, I'm playing Radio City, so you are coming. I'll be across the way. I'm there. All I'm right. so there. I will bring you on stage if you want. I, I love, love you. Uh, what 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 song are you doing for us tonight? I'm gonna do uh, my song Circles Around This Town. So there you go. Uh, I'm so happy you're here. We love you, Marin Mars. Everybody, congrats. Humble Quest is out right now. Hey, hey.